Today's Living Word with Pastor Earl. We're continuing our study on being filled with the Holy Spirit, the evidence of speaking in other tongues, praying in our prayer language, which is one of the pieces of armor uh, we have that we've been given according to Ephesians 6.18. And there are different kinds of speaking in other tongues. I want to clarify that because um, you can speak in the tongues of man or of angels. The tongues of man is speaking of a known language, such as what took day, place on the day of Pentecost. This is a gift to supernaturally speak a known language without having been taught it. And it comes for the purpose of witnessing as on the day of Pentecost. Now on the day of Pentecost, when the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, they began speaking in other tongues. And the people in the audience, the people that had gathered around, they heard them speak in their own language. So the disciples were either speaking in other tongues in the language of man that was known to the people there, but not to the disciples. But another possibility is, because there were so many people and the disciples were all together, were the disciples speaking in other tongues and it's very possible the gift of tongues and interpretation were taking place. That as the disciples spoke in other tongues, the people heard the interpretation, that the Holy Spirit gave them the interpretation to hear in their known language. So it is either one or the other. They spoke in an unknown tongue, and you can go up to somebody. The Holy Spirit might move on you to speak in, in Hebrew, for instance, if you're witnessing to a Jew, and you don't even know that language. So that's a possibility. But it's also a possibility that the gift, tongues and interpretation, were in operation. And the other tongue that we're talking about, the other kind or gift or... Diversity is speaking in your heavenly language, and that is given to you for your personal edification. And it's not known to you, and nobody else knows it. It um, allows you, the believer, to directly communicate with your heavenly Father through the Spirit. Satan and his angels, demons, cannot understand it. Other people can't understand it. And it's such a marvelous gift to pray in other tongues as the Holy Spirit gives you utterance. You're speaking divine mysteries. You're speaking directly to your Heavenly Father. And he knows what it is. But Satan cannot interpret it. He does not know what you're saying or be able to come against that prayer that you're praying that the Holy Spirit's giving you the interpretation, the, pardon me, not the interpretation, but that gift so you can pray out those mysteries, divine secrets. It's a direct heavenly line to your heavenly Father.